How did you get involved with this project and what attracted you to this particular story? Um, I got involved in the project by, you know, I read a spec script. I really responded to the idea in the script and, uh, sorry, I should do that again. What was the first part of the question? What was the second part of the question? <laughs> so how did you get involved in this project and what attracted you to this story? Uh, you know, I got involved, I, I read this uh, a spec script. I really liked the core idea in the, in the film. And that's what made me want to be involved and develop it further. And I think just... I was surprised and, and it felt unpredictable to me and you know I like to be surprised when I go to the cinema and I, I wanted to make this movie because of that. Cool. Tell us about your experience working with this fantastic international cast including your brother and how did everyone come together for the film? Look, I, I feel very lucky to have the cast I had you know the first person I sent it to was Charlize and and then uh, you know obviously I wanted my brother to be involved in it and you know, and then I had Amanda Seyfried, and then I met David. You know, what was amazing about them is they, you know, beyond their individual talents, they all just clicked really well, and they played together really well, and it was it was really enjoyable to see them work together. So this film has a lot of intense action scenes. Can you tell us about the filming process for them? Sure. Yeah. Look, I you know I started out as a stuntman, and so filming action scenes in films, like, you know, I have a a background in that I have an idea on how I like to see them and you know I essentially go about you know piece by piece working out where I want to see the action from how would the character experiencing it you know how can I do this in the most realistic way and how can I involve the actors in it so it feels authentic what is one of your favorite moments in making the film and why uh, look I think you know, getting to see uh, I don't have favorite moments. Sorry, I'm just thinking <laughs> of the right sort of thing to say, but that is um, without giving away things about the movie. Um, look, I think one of my favorite things for the movie, uh, making the movie, was shooting in Mexico City. You know, any chance you get to make a film. Uh, in the actual location it's set, I think it just can't help but infuse some things into the film that, you know, wouldn't happen if you were trying to fabricate Mexico somewhere else. Okay. Uh, what themes does this film explore? Look, I, I think the, you know, all of my films ex explore some, you know, level of karma. You know, good things come from doing good things and bad things come from doing bad things. You know, and I think it also explores you know, kindness winning out over greed. What do you love most about your job as a storyteller? I think what I love most about my job is I get to collaborate with a number of artists, all trying to reach a common goal. And, you know, filmmaking is the ultimate kind of collaborative art form, I think. And what can audiences expect from Gringo? I think audiences can expect a really fun, unexpected ride with twists and turns and uh, wonderful performances from actors you know but aren't expecting to see the kind of performances they're giving.